Tonight marks the Fall 2019 International Food and Culture Show at California State University Bakersfield. It was a night filled with cultural dress, song, poetry, dance, and more. The event also gave student groups, faculty, and staff an opportunity to share their culture through cuisine from around the world. So you're going to be performing uh, a multiple different um, mm -hmm. moments tonight throughout yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. Can you give a little detail of what uh, things you have planned? Uh, so today I'm here with Kebigan Pasa, which is uh, the Filipino organization, and we also have uh, the sister organization Paso Modern, which is our hip-hop dance team. And uh, today we'll be performing three things, uh, a cultural dance, a hip-hop set routine, and, a, and we'll be having a choir sing the Filipino national anthem. The cultural dance, I'm not too sure on what it's about. Um, I know they directed it, but I did direct the modern portion. And so um, the modern portion is basically... We just needed an outlet as, as students to uh, kind of come together and dance. Um, we're trying to build a community and just come together and have a lot of fun. Um, and we feel good when we dance, and so that's why we're doing it. So today, uh, Paso Modern will be performing four songs in one routine. It's about a three-minute set. And uh, it's all about passion, uh, our aesthetic, uh, sincerity, and optimism. And that's what the P-A-S-N-O stand for this semester. Um, I also wanted to ask, I heard you singing a song with a couple other members. Uh, it was in another language. What language was that? Oh, so that language is uh, Tagalog. It's a Filipino language. Uh, so it's basically, the, it's a national anthem. And so we'll be singing that to represent our club, Kaibigan Paso. Kaibigan is actually a Tagalog term for friend. So we'll be singing Lupang Hinirang, which is the title of the song. What's the importance of today's event and tonight's um, celebration? So as you know, uh, CSUB is home to a lot of international students and we love being here and this, this whole week is International Education Week and we just want to make sure that our international students know that they are welcome here. Uh, a lot of us students, uh, this is our first time leaving our country and coming to a strange country like this and this is, I, we just wanted to make sure that they feel like they belong here and just make them remind them, remind, it's like a reminder for, of their home. Can you give us a little bit of your background or what was your significance um, here tonight? Um, so I am an alumni at CSUB. Um, I didn't graduate though, I dropped out. But um, I really love coming back here every time and um, I just wanted to showcase some poetry today at this wonderful event. Can you tell us why it's important to, to share our thoughts and what is the beauty in poetry? You know, I feel like by sharing our thoughts is how we're all able to understand the pain that we go through. Maybe the way you experienced it is different, but our pain is similar. And once we talk about it and we let others into our little circle as well, we're able to heal from it much better. And once we heal for something, then you're, you know, you're taking care of it. You don't, you don't have to have a generation, you know, dealing with those same traumas and that same pain over again. Because you stepped in, you took responsibility, and you healed yourself. That's what I want to really encourage people to do. I'm Loei Samha. I'm the president of the International Students Organization. And I'm here supporting this event. It's hosted by CSUB Programming, right? They were dancing, they had a lot of cool stuff. I really enjoyed it. The food was great, it was actually amazing, and I got a feedback from everyone here, it was perfect. I'm the president of the International Students Organization. Uh, basically, like our club presents the way for you to actually get to know different cultures, different people, exchange students who come in from different uh, places. For example, you're going to study abroad, right? So if you're going to study abroad, you gotta come to my club and get to know people from that area or from that country where you can know more about locals before you get there and get a culture shock and you don't know what's going on. So basically our, our club is very helpful and it's for everyone, not only international students.